couple hot peppers, uh, just one grape. Daffodil, who is that for again? That is for somebody I don't have access to right now. Same with the, the other stuff here. Uh, I can get a pickle, a thing of wine, a thing of sashimi. Uh, salmon dinner? Does somebody really like that? Who likes salmon dinner? Alex likes salmon dinner. Autumn's bounty can go to Lewis, but we already got something for him. Farmer's lunch can go to Marnie. Um, Joja Cola and uh, Roots Platter. That's for Penny. Alright. So much going on here. So many gifts. Let's head up here first. We'll head up here to start. Because there's more stuff for me to pick up. Figured it was about time. This might be a day where I just kind of go foraging and exploring and gifting because the spirits are not on my side. I haven't been able to really shake the bushes in winter. Kind of missed that actually. All right, so we'll start with Evelyn, since it's her birthday. There she is. Here you go. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. We've lived here for over 30 years. We've seen a lot of people come and go. Your grandfather, for one. Bless him. <sighs> All right, we'll talk to you, even though I don't have anything for you. The weekend is no different than any other time for me. That's how it is when you're retired. All right, so that is done. I don't think I have anything for Pam. I don't have anything for a lot of people, to be honest, but we can check in on Mayor Lewis. He is here. Have the hot pepper. Oh, he doesn't want it. I've talked to him too much, or I've given gifts to him too much. Everyone seems a little happier on the weekends, don't you think? I'm on the job seven days a week, though. Yeah. That's what happens when you have elected office. There's no such thing as time off, it seems. Even on vacation, people still ask you stuff. But we can go to Gunther. Uh, we have a thing for him. Nothing there. How you doing? Donate. Uh, this is going to go right next to the other one. No reward, though. Yeah, and he doesn't talk. Like, I can't even get close to him. All right, what? I can't read from this side. I have to have to go around. All right, technology report. The blueprints for an advanced piece of machinery called a crystallarium have, been, have recently been published. This machine can grow crystals from almost nothing, providing their owners with endless supplies of audio gems. Here, I, didn't we already read this? Yeah, and it doesn't work on the prismatic shard. So that wasn't the right one. This one. No from Guther. Wow, this library has really become great. Thanks to your help. Thanks a bunch. Uh, we read that one already. What's with this one? Why can't I read this? Where do I have to stand for this one? There we go. Goblins by M. Jasper. The species commonly known as goblin seems to have originated in the forests of the far northeast, beyond the Bluemire Hills. Characterized by their green skin, bright red eyes, and foul smell, initial encounters with goblins can be frightening for unexperienced travelers. Despite their unsettling appearance, goblins possess an intellectual and emotional capacity akin to humans, and have no trouble learning our customs and languages. The goblins I've met have been rather friendly and amiable. Once I've shown that, I mean no harm. Unfortunately, centuries of distrust and ill treatment from humans has led many goblins to pursue careers in the employ of witches, warlocks, necromancers, and other unsavory types. A traditional goblin diet largely consists of grub meat, typically from the large and juicy grub varieties native to the goblin home forest. On special occasions, goblins will indulge in deluge in an item called void mayonnaise, considered perhaps the finest delicacy in all goblin cuisine. All right, so let's uh, learn a little bit more about the cog that I turned in. Still need a scroll for the dwarf. All right, Esperite. What? 
Crystal's glow bright green when stimulated? No, this thing. There we go. Rusty Spur, an old spur that was once attached to a cowboy's boot. People must have been raising animals in this area for many generations. It probably went over here then. But it looked just like the cog, so I put it next to the cog. I wish I could reorganize that. I probably would. Probably extensively. Okay, so I've talked to you. Let's give something to Clint. We'll talk to him first. Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Have this. Yes, that's exactly what I've been looking for. Hooray, he liked it. I don't have really anything for him right now. All right, so we can go into the Joja Mart and, and give gifts if he's working. He's not working today. I think it's Shane, technically. But no, I will not join the Joja Mart. Goes against everything I stand for in this game, I think. Uh, let's head up here. All right, so we have Abigail here. Now, Abigail is who I brought the ruby for? No, that's Emily. It's the weekend. Sure is. That means I can play twice as many video games. Bye. All right, did I bring anything for her? I'm not sure I did. I should have. There's stuff that she likes that I have, but... I sure didn't. All right. I guess we'll move on. Anything growing for me? Weren't these patches supposed to grow some things for me if I cleared them? Thought that was the general idea. All right, apparently nothing doing. We'll just keep exploring though. There's always more to explore. Could be a lie somebody told me though. All right, let's head up. What can we find up here? All right, do I have anything for Jody? Should talk to him. Our house is such in such a beautiful area, don't you think? Everything looks still after a fresh snow. All right, can I upgrade anything? I still have 20,000 gold after all. Upgrade house is 50,000, so no. And it had 150 of hardwood, so that's not happening. Um, I could do the mill eventually. I really do want to do the mill, but I need four cloth, and I don't have that yet. Uh, the shed... The stable? I do have enough, but I need a ton of hardwood for that. Slime hutch? Uh, I don't know if I necessarily need that, but I'll, I'll look into it. And then the big coop and the deluxe barn isn't... I don't know. I don't know which one I want first. I can get a couple of them, I think. Hey, if any of your farming machines need to be fixed, just let me know. Let's see if seasonal nitrogen levels could be modeled by piecewise function. Right, you've said that before. Do you need anything? Um, have... Do I want to give him the crystal fruit? Sure. Have the crystal fruit. I was just going to sell it anyway. Thank you, this is a very interesting specimen. Alright, so how are we doing here? Demetrius, that's the first one for him. Still need to give stuff to Marnie. Um, the wizard, Jody. Yeah, I don't think I have anything for Linus, but I do have stuff for Sebastian if he's still here. He's not. Don't know where he went. He just kind of moves around. Places I can't always follow. Anything good? No? Alright, so let's try to head down. I should probably get that horse ranch, to the, the horse stables. Uh, from my understanding, I can ride the horse around. And then we can go quickly, right? And that's probably for the best, considering how much time I spend just kind of traveling between places that I want to go to. So, I'll have to look into that, maybe get that next. I just have to think about what is going to net me the most money the quickest, I think. Maybe that's how I should look at things. Maybe not. Is anybody hanging out 
down here. Is there anything out here? There's stuff in my pots. You know, going in the, uh, the ocean is far better in terms of profitability. Although I'm not entirely sure it's worth the extra walk. Once again, maybe that could be fixed with the horse. All right, let's try to head back into town and give some gifts there. And then that might be it for the day. Like, it's already 3 p.m. Like, it can only do so much in a day. Hey, it's Willie. The local fishing scene got a bit more lively. I might expand the shop's stock. All right, what is Willie like? He likes a couple fish that, like, I just don't have. Um, yeah, pretty much just fish. So I can't I can't do much with him. And that's the mayor's place. Um, let's go into the med office. It's only open till three. Okay, so we have Caroline here. I don't think I have anything for Caroline. No, she is very specific. Maybe I can give her a daffodil, though, but I, don't, I didn't bring it with me. Don't you think Abby would look better with her natural hair color? She used to have light chestnut colored hair. And then Jody, hi. Need something? No. And then we have Emily. Do you know how to cook bean hot pot? I don't have a ruby. This gift is fabulous. Thank you so much. I like that dish quite a bit. It's hard to get fresh ingredients in the winter, huh? Yeah, that it is. All right, let's go into people's houses here. We have Haley, but I don't have anything for her. There's Sebastian. All right, I can go in here. All right, so what is Sebastian like again? I brought a couple things for him, I think. Uh, the sashimi and the frozen tear. Let's give him the frozen tear. I really love this. How did you know? The frogs aren't very happy in the winter. Poor little guys. All right, and then this is Sam. I don't think I have anything for Sam. Uh, the Joja Cola I can give him, though. I just remember that I was meaning to do something, but I forgot. This happens to me all the time. Let's move the Joja Cola up here, and we'll gift that to him. Thanks, I really like this. Hooray. Got a lot of gifts accomplished this time. Still a lot of gifts to give, but we're making progress here, it seems. Still need to find things for Pierre, but I think most of that is stuff that I cook. All right, Leah. I don't think I have anything for you, but I will check. Oh, I can give you wine. There you go. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's head over here. We'll go find Marnie. Maybe I could get more animals, but for now, I don't really want to do that. All right. Marnie, did you know that my nephew hates pickles? He finds it absolutely disgusting. I learned that I learned that one the hard way. All right, so for Marnie, I think I had uh, food for her. All right, the farmer's lunch. So where's the farmer's lunch? There you go. This is an incredible gift, thanks. Okay. So then I guess we'll just continue foraging and find some of the kids that I was looking for. I couldn't give Harvey his pickles. Oh, hey. Some worms. With clay. Not my favorite, but there they are. Uh, oh, I think I was told that there was a secret spot in the secret spot. Um, I think a couple people pointed that out to me that there was hardwood back here somewhere, but I didn't, I didn't see where it was. So, oh, these, right? I could just get rid of these. And that would get me the hardwood. Problem is, I didn't bring my weapons with me, so I can't really 
hang out here. There's supposed to be like an, a, a respawn of hardwood in there. I think the stumps are it, but we might have something else there as well. Let's just keep exploring for a bit. We've kind of already committed to doing this, so we might as well finish it off. Uh, don't have anything for the wizard. He likes some weird stuff. Understandable, considering he's the wizard, but still not uh, the normal stuff that everybody else likes. All right. Couple things out here. Don't seem to be able to do anything here. Maybe eventually I will be able to, though. All right, we could buy a hat. Do I want to buy the hat? As far as I can tell, there's really not a point for me buying these. They don't upgrade anything. So I'll probably hold off on that until, you know, I have so much money that it's worthwhile for me to just splurge on hats. But for now, I kind of need the money still. I have plenty right now, but... I'm going to spend it all eventually, you know? I definitely need what I have in time. Inventory full? What? All right. Drop the clay. Drop, drop the clay. We'll trash the clay so I can get the book. You would think that they would let me pick it up, considering it doesn't actually occupy an inventory space, but apparently it just temporarily holds one, so I have to clear inventory to do it, and I can't just drop something because then I immediately pick it up, because the books has no, the books don't have the priority that they should. All right, back in. It is time to go to sleep. Once I dig up these worms here, another book. So, next time we go to Guthers, we'll have some reading material. But that is not today. Alright, so I'm going to need something for Jody. I do remember that she's the one that I got for basically the town's secret Santa. That I remember. So, we'll deal with that when it comes up. And it might come up relatively soon. Hey, a whole bunch of jellies done. Let's sell some things. Alright, so I can get rid of the jelly. I can get rid of all of that. The winter root, I think I want to hold on to. The crocus is a good gift. And what do I want to do with clam, if anything? I don't think I want to do anything with it, so... Just go ahead and sell those. Uh, the crab, though, is good. No? Nope, crab can be sold. All right. Let's put stuff back into the gifts thing here. Roots platter, crocus. I believe the winter root goes in here. Sure does. The emerald goes over here. We'll grab the tomatoes. Preserves those. So far, we're doing all right. I might need to, to get more preserves jars though. Okay, and then this can go in here. Okay, another day done. Let's just go to sleep and we'll try to get some more stuff done in the morning. The days just aren't long enough. All right, 2,300 cold for that, mostly from the blueberries. That stuff does work wonders. All right, day 21, it is another Sunday, so the gifts have not reset yet. All right, weather report. 
It's gonna snow tomorrow. Fortune teller. Neutral. Maybe I'll go into the uh, the mine then. All right, this week's dish is pumpkin pie. My house it's a tradition to eat pumpkin pie during the feast of the winter star. The season just isn't complete without that wonderful flavor you can only achieve with the finest farm fresh pumpkins. A little nutmeg, cinnamon, and clove will sleep you, sweep you off to a land of crimson and gold. Learn how to make pumpkin pie. Can I make it now? Where is pumpkin pie? It's kind of hard to see where some of this stuff is. No, I need flour, milk, and sugar. But uh, flour and sugar is the stuff that's holding me back. Boscoba, how are you doing? You hope the winter hasn't been too hard on you. Anyway, I'm ready to ask you for some hardwood. I need about 10 pieces if you got it. If not, no worries. Take care, Robin. All right, so we'll try to turn that in. Uh, 10 pieces of hardwood. I don't think I have that on me yet. No, I have nine. Uh, but I have a thing of wine done. 